Hi everyone, welcome. So today's video is going to be a creepy one. I'm going to be telling you about a portal that is allegedly in Oklahoma. So it is located in Beaver Dunes Park, which is located in Oklahoma's Panhandle region on US Highway 270 in Beaver, Oklahoma. Beaver Dunes Park sits on what is referred to as No Man's Land or the Neutral Strip, which is nearly 600 acres of Oklahoma's extreme northwest region. It's a real like desolate area where there's not much happening. People camp there and there's a lot of sandy slopes and a lot of um, ATV enthusiasts and dune buggies go there. Um, but however, this place is a little bit strange and often has dark tales involving mysterious disappearances, strange phenomenon, and other weirdness. So hidden somewhere among the hills is rumored to be an otherworldly passage which would be known as Shaman's Portal, or some people call it Oklahoma's Bermuda Triangle. So allegedly, a lot of paranormal things have been known to happen here, like disappearances, and people have reported seeing men in black sightings. So this all really dates back to around the 1500s when the Spanish explorer Francisco Vegas de Coronado, sorry if I say that wrong, the story goes that he traveled to the area on a quest to discover New World gold, but he didn't listen to them and he paid the price by having three of his members of his expedition suddenly vanish before them amongst green flashes of lightning. Coronado described it himself as the work of the devil. He actually wrote this in his diary. So there would be others in the years to come that were said to have vanished here, including a pioneer woman in 1897 and a visitor from Colorado in 19. 1987. And it's said that both of them vanished in the dunes in conjunction with the same lights that were said to have happened in the 1500s. But it's really unclear if these are actual disappearances or just urban legends. Now, there are other reports that people see ghost lights, flickering portals, and cases of time being lost. And also, there's numerous instances of electronical equipment going haywire or just not functioning at all when you're around that area in the dunes. Also, there was supposedly a UFO that crashed here and reports on what actually happened vary, but a lot of people claim that the object came down from the sky and buried itself in the sand. And after this happened, it was said that numerous nighttime military excavations were conducted. And in the 90s, Dr. Mark Thatcher studied the dunes for three years after an archeologist from Oklahoma State University sent him a letter saying that strange things were happening there. When Dr. Thatcher arrived to conduct his studies, he was apparently chased away from the dunes by men wearing black suits and carrying government IDs, and these men are said to fit the description of the men in black. Another unidentified university geological team who is said to have studied the area in the mid-90s. So there was another unidentified universal geological team who is said to have studied the area around the mid 90s um, and they supposedly took a number of geological samples and found strange anomalies that included ionized soil and electromagnetic interferences and all of this has led some to believe that an ancient alien spacecraft lies beneath the dunes and also apparently the area is a native american burial ground so all around it doesn't seem like the best area and on top of all of these reports there are Bigfoot sightings in the area. So a lot of stuff is going on here. And reports such as these have led all kinds of speculation on what is going on at the park. Some think there are portals opening here to other dimensions, perhaps letting things into our reality or taking people away from our reality into another one. And on top of everything else, it apparently sits right on or right next to ley lines. And if you don't know what ley lines are, they're founded by Alfred. Fred Watkins and he found that ancient sites at different points around the world all fell into some sort of alignment and the sites were either man-made or natural and they all fell into a pattern usually a straight line and he made up these lines to be called lays later ley lines and ley lines are the lines that crisscross around the globe like latitude and longitude lines and they are dotted with monuments and natural landforms and they are said to carry along them rivers of 
supernatural energy. And along these lines, at the places that they intersect, there are pockets of concentrated energy that can be harnessed by certain individuals, like psychics or people who have the ability to talk with ghosts, if you believe in that sort of thing. And ley lines are energy sources from the earth, also where spirits can easily pass through this realm from another. And the Native Americans would often build their villages near these ley lines. So it's thought that they knew about this. And some ancient structures that lay along the ley lines would be the Great Pyramids of Giza, Chichen Itza, and Stonehenge. So is this area a portal to another dimension? So why it's called Shaman's Portal is the Native Americans actually gave it that name. And it's thought that there's possibly a cave system beneath the dunes leading to some kind of magical doorway to another dimension, which would be known as a native shaman's portal. So there really isn't too much information found on this, but it is known that a lot of people think something weird is going on here. And with all of the evidence or supposedly evidence that was noted, it seems that most likely there's something weird is going on here, even if it's just something with the ley lines and the earth's energy and the magnetic field. I'm not sure if people are really disappearing from here or not. The only known recorded disappearance was from Coronado, but it seems for sure that something weird is going on. So that's all I have for you guys today. I'm sorry there wasn't too much information on this, but I did really find this story to be interesting and something I actually didn't know about until I researched it. Thank you for watching my video and I hope you join me in the next one. Stay safe and always be aware of your surroundings. Bye.